Uh, Jim McDougald, CAL FIRE Fresno Kings Unit. I'm a division chief in charge of protection planning and uh, working on all these fuel breaks within Fresno County. Um, Fresno County has numerous fuel breaks uh, that have been in here and in effect for a lot of years and in cooperation with the local fire safe councils and the U.S. Forest Service. Uh, the fuel breaks specifically are right in the area of the tree mortality uh, where it transitions from the brush into the timber. So the fuel breaks are in a really good place as far as uh, um, where they lie within the landscape. Uh, the fuel breaks were in effective states at the time before the tree mortality and different stages of maintenance. Um, with the tree mortality within the fuel breaks, now we have a closed canopy of dead trees within the fuel breaks and we need to remove those because the fuel breaks currently aren't as effective as they were. Uh, we've been working on these fuel breaks since October, following the trees. Uh, we buck the limbs off, we pile burn the, the slash, and we deck the logs with our tractors. Um, we do chipping as well. As we move into fire season, chipping will become more of the norm once we get out of our burn window with burn days. Um, the U.S. Forest Service is also clearing their fuel breaks um, using dozers, uh, hand crews, and hotshot crews, falling the trees, and piling the brush as well. Southern California Edison and PG&E have been removing the trees around their power lines, and they've taken the time specifically to work on those within our fuel breaks as well, as we work on them cooperatively, being as we can't fall the trees next to the power lines. So as we fall our trees and they fall the trees near the lines, it makes the fuel break more effective. Um, the county has been doing right-of-way clearance, uh, making their roads within their right-of-way uh, as safe as they possibly can.